it's Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I am so excited to be with you guys on this happy Tuesday. Um, so I'm just touching base. Let's just see, make sure we can hear. Um, let me just see. Dismiss. Yep, you can hear me. Awesome. Isn't that just amazing? Um, it's been an amazing feat to get heard at all. Like, woof, right? Like, it's crazy to me how difficult it's been. But God is so good. I'm super happy to um, be here with you guys to be creating. I have an over-the-top, beautiful, fun fold that we're going to do today that's going to pop like big time, y'all. Pop up. Boop. Um, and it's so easy. So if you have a serious addiction to um, creating with Designer Series Pass, do you have a, like a huge paper collection? I do. Quite honestly. I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of paper. And so I want to make sure um, that I use up that paper this year. That's my big fat goal I'm like, yeah, baby, it's going to happen. Um, so if you haven't joined, just give me a shout out. Let me know that you're here. Um, I want to make sure that I know who's here and creating with us. And if you haven't already, give me some hearts, like the video, and share it. Sharing is caring. It's free. It's easy to do. And um, super fun. So right now, I am going to make sure... Chuk, chuk, chuk. Copy link. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all, multitasking on um, social media. I'm not good at multitasking. It's been proven that you can't multitask. Like, you wouldn't think so. Um, Okay. Okay. Enter control V. Post. There we go. So if you guys are here, oh, there we go. I see Bonnie, you're here from Marion. Nice. Hello, Charlene. Nice to see you, my dear. I'm so glad that you're here from Maryland. Shout out. That's cool. You know, that's a place I've never been is Maryland. There's a lot of places I haven't been. Um, I have been really grateful and blessed to have traveled the world with Stampin' Up. Um, and, um, I regularly frequented like South America because when we lived in California, um, it was just a hop, skip and jump through us, through California. So, um, we are going to hop in and create with this beautiful, beautiful collection. Um, I'm going to pull up the name of it because I want to make sure it's like frames and florets. Um, but if you get the suite or if you order the suite, I hate the term get. My dad would have like boxed my ears for saying get. <laughs> It's called Fitting Florets. So it is um, an amazing collection. And if you order it right now, hi, Linda, you can order and you receive the bonus limited edition Christmas stamp set that comes with it. So um, the whole suite, if you want to order that, let me know. I know that right now we cannot get the um, embellishment that comes with it. So there's these beautiful little gold embellishments. We can't get those anymore. So if you want to order this suite, make sure you let me know and I can get you those um, that great price. And um, it's about what? I think $89 um, for that. So um, it includes a bundle with a, and it includes two stamp sets, the whole dies, the designer series paper, and more. So we're going to have fun creating out that right now. And actually, Bonnie, who's on here, knows I love this suite. Oh, Sue, nice, from Ohio. Now, Canton, Ohio, I wonder how close that is to us here. We're near Fort Wayne, Indiana. So you'll have to tell me, Sue, how close we are to one another. Do you know? And I can't look because I use my phone, which has got my GPS. God, oh. 
ding on it. My daddy would have smacked me for that one too. He wouldn't have smacked me. Um, he probably would have said, mm, like tweaked me. So, um, I'm super stoked that you guys are here. I've done a little bit of die cutting ahead of time so that we can jump on it. Now we're going to be using this um, limited edition designer series paper and the Christmas stamp set that goes with it. So that is this stamp set right here. It's called framed and festive and it comes with eight different greetings, eight. So really fun and pretty. And we're going to modify some designer series paper. When you make a handmade card and you want to take it over the top, you kind of go add on, add on, add on. And that's kind of what we're going to do with this card. So if you guys are just joining us right now, like and share the video. Um, give me a little bit of your hearts. Comment where you're from if you haven't already. And um, have you finished your Christmas cards? Now, I know Bonnie's going to put us all to shame because she probably has. But if you guys are like me and you have not finished your Christmas cards, whew. Um, so yeah, there's where Jamie is right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to be using a couple of different colors and you guys get to pick right now while we're creating, we're going to do a little bit of modifying so you guys can tell me. So we're going to be using the soft succulent designer, um, cardstock and the, um, evening evergreen. These are gorgeous. Um, I was swinging by and picking up my kids. Um, every Christmas we give them matching to their dismay. Um, matching pajamas and that's what they get to open up on Christmas Eve and then they go to sleep with it. Um, new at card creating. <gasps> Charlene, that's wonderful. Join us. We have a great community. We're here for you, girl. Um, I jumped in 17 years ago, two weeks before giving birth to my daughter and it's been the most amazing journey ever and I would love to have you join us. So there you go. If you have any questions, give me a shout out. I'll try to catch them. Um, so these are limited edition colors that are only available for two years and they rotate out. So these will be here for a little bit longer. This is their first year. And um, this designer series paper will not be carrying over into the new catalog. So it's something that you want to keep in mind. Okay. So, oh no. Um, I'm so glad that you're here, girl. That's awesome. Um, okay. So we're going to flip this around. I'm going to put my hair up. So we're going to do that because I lean forward and I'm sitting on my um, fiddle chair so what that means is it's like a rotating bar stool and I sit here and I do this and it helps with my like little craziness. So there we go. Um, okay. So let's turn around. Okay. Um, I am drowning in crafter math. Do you guys ever know what that's like when you have just so many crafting things and you're like, no, oh, it's cat, it's catching up. It's going to kill me. So we're going to grab and I almost always will do a light color on the outside of my card but this is flexible. This is what you guys want to do is what we can do. Do you want to go a little bit more dark with this being our card base or do you want to go lighter? So it's evergreen or soft succulent. So you guys, can you comment? So you're five hours from me, Sue. I love Fort Wayne. That's so cool. I am learning that while we live here in Indiana, we have popped into numerous states and sometimes unannounced to myself. <laughs> um, and one of my really good girlfriends out here, she lives in Ohio and she drives into Indiana all the time, uh, into Fort Wayne to be with us. So um, yeah. So this is the designer series paper we're going to be using. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And so it makes me happy. It really does. And we're going to have this card be a pop-up card. Now, to be a pop-up card, I like it to be easy. Um, I like to have one little twist and have it rock the the Casbah. Um, I don't know that everybody gets that, that reference, but if you are a child like I am of the music from the 80s and 90s, you know. Yeah, no. Um, so we have here, this is a huge die set. It comes with multiple dies, and we're going to end up using those dies. So, um, I have them right here and I'm going to pull them out and I die cutted them already because I thought it would just be really easy. Bonnie says evening evergreen base with soft succulent on the top. All right. 
girl. I love it because Bonnie will tell us exactly what she thinks. So if at, at first I was like, where did this die go? And it was behind. So make sure, and I have to go through and brush all that out. Make sure you look, it's a two page die set and it is really, really awesome. They layer and they have the most beautiful florette, like um, branches and flowers and leaves. And it's just really, really gorgeous, you guys. So it looks like um, Charlene might be agreeing with you, Bonnie. So if y'all are the boss, that makes me happy. I don't like having to be like bossy about it. Okay, so we are going to, I have all my pieces to the side, but we're gonna go with an evening evergreen base right here. And then we're gonna have this meat on the top. So what that's gonna look like is this. We're gonna take our paper trimmer and we're gonna score it at five and a half and cut it to four and a quarter. That's half and half, that's all it is. Um, it's eight and a half by 11, so you're just gonna go halvesy wabsies, that's all. And then we're gonna take the evening evergreen right here. I'm gonna slide this out now. If you're creating, oh, you do agree with her. See, there you go. We all agree with Bonnie. Like Bonnie is who you agree with. Um, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go to four and three, uh, four and how many quarters is this? One, two, three, three quarters. Four and three quarters. Four and three eighths. Four and three eighths is what we're going to do. So we're gonna. Am I right? No, crackers catching it. <gasps> that was five and three eighths. Oh, good night. So we have four, and I'm gonna go to four and an eighth on this one and we are going to turn this bad boy and um i'm going to go to five and a quarter and then go up the eighth so that's five and three eighths on this one and i should have done the other one what was i thinking y'all i screwed up but that's okay didn't screw up on this piece i just need to, to do the other piece correctly and I have to say, at my old house, our paper was in another room. Where I was filming was in a different room. That was a pain in the tush. I love having paper right behind my head. <laughs> I am, I'm, no matter what people say, I am easy to please. So we're going to go in and... I have no idea if I'm even doing this correctly. I'm just going off the top of my head. We'll see. Um, we'll put this to the side and we'll start creating. So one of the things I'm going to do is we are going to grab this stunning designer series paper. Now I have it cut in two different ways and we're going to use it as the card front, um, on the evening evergreen with, it's going to go like this, but I want to give you guys a heads up. You're the boss. This can change right now. Like while we're coloring it, you're gonna see when we color what we're going to do, we can change this card to have a different vibe. And so um, maybe it was all for good, right? So our evening evergreen, we're gonna get that prepped and then set to the side. Right there. Make sure it's like lined up. Ah. <sighs> And so I'm trying to, as, as a side note, are you guys cooking anything fun for um, Thanksgiving? That's a question for you. We're going to use Real Red, our Stampin' Write markers. And it has two ends. It has a pen and a paintbrush side. And we're going to embrace the paintbrush side here. So I purchased, and I, I don't always do this, but I do love buntlet pans and I don't always use them. So I did purchase a fancy new buntlet pan at, um, oh, what's the fancy store in the mall? I was with my bestie in Indy. And she and I purchased like our brine and... Oh my goodness. It's the one who makes all the bunt pans. Anyway. Um, so I purchased these miniature pumpkins because um, we're going to have little miniature pumpkin, you know, cakes for everybody. And, um, but whenever I use a buntlet, it gets stuck and it ruins the image. So I was asking the woman, she's like, you need that baking spray. Did you guys ever use the baking spray? You know, the the kind that you spray and it has flour kind of mixed in with it. 
Now, this is not a gluten-free option. You would have to spray it or grease it and then put a gluten-free flour if that's the route you were going. Um, but here, we're going to be making those mistletoe berries. What are those? Holly berries. We're just taking that designer series paper. We're going to change it with the real red and make holly berries. Holly berries are toxic. Don't eat them. Things you learn when you're a kid and your grandma has a holly berry bush and was like lecturing. She never lectured us all, but that was one thing. She's like, do not eat these berries, whatever you do. So my, um, we have a young man that lives with us that's um, kind of like a pseudo son. And I said to him, hey, since you're at school, can you go pick up um, at the grocery the spray? And he went down and picked it up at Walmart. And it's like a baking spray is what it's called. And Trader Joe's used to have it and they don't have it anymore. But I love it. So I'm excited to make pumpkin little individual cakes for everybody that are shaped like pumpkins, like pretty ones. And it's not the, is it the Nordic wear? But it was at that nice cooking expensive store in the mall. <laughs> what is that store called? Uh, Michelle, what's the store called? It's downstairs in my kitchen. And as soon as I walk down, I'm gonna see it and know that like, I'm gonna be like, dope. There we go. Now I could have used my Stampin' um, blend, the Stampin', goodness, my brain is, I'm doing the alcohol-based marker, um, but I just thought this is easier. Now, if you don't realize, our color families come in a collection. You can get the whole color family, and you can use this to actually stamp, and so we're going to do that today. It's the same ink as what you would see in our ink pad, just so you know. And we're coloring these little holly berries, making them deep red with that real red. And it's going to look more Christmassy than the white. So I think the white's pretty on its own, but I think this is really, I think it's so pretty. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like it? You could have really a ton of fun modifying our designer series papers just like this. And this is one of those things that if I were doing a bunch of these, what I would do um, is I would take this down and use a lap board and color them all in. Like while I'm doing something else, like I homeschool my youngest kids. So while we're working on a project, I would probably be coloring this in. I just heard my kid, one of my kids call my name, but... If they open the door, you'll hear me shout out that I'm still alive. They never know if I'm still alive or not. And it's one of the reasons why my studio can get backed up. So as soon as I'm done here, um, oh, see, somebody did peek and listen to see if mom was on live. Um, as soon as I get done here, I'll have to go down and be with my daughter. They probably need somebody to take the dogs out. I don't know. A mother's job is never done, girls. Do you like the color red on here, Boo? I do too. I mean, look at the difference. I think it's a big drama factor. Now, you can purchase this with me right now. Don't forget to grab yours before they're gone. So as um, Stampin' Up! just had this um, recent sale and that suite just got cleared out. So the embellishment is gone. But you can still get the um, bundle, the extra stamp set, and this gorgeous limited edition um, designer series paper. And if you ever want to get it at a great discount or for free, make sure you let me know. Bonnie's amazing. She just gathered a bunch of her girlfriends recently, and we were creating with this very sweet and a couple others. And... Um, she scored a really nice shopping spree right before Christmas, so that package should be here soon. And I'll package it up and take it out to her and the ladies. Super fun. And this is really nice, mindless work. 
like it's kind of self-soothing to color. And this is a card that is definitely going to be over the top, you guys. So my question will be, which you know the answer for me is always yes, but do you want these berries to sparkle? Do you want this paper to sparkle is the question I have. When my son was little, my cousin Mark, who lives here in Indiana, would come and visit us in California. And so he was, my son was five and was coloring, and it was like a note, like he colors too messy when he was in public school. And so uh, my cousin Mark explained to my son that you color the outside in with a little bit more precision, and then you can squiggle, squaggle all you want on the way in. So I always think about how... My cousins are such great. Like they pour into my kids and they always have. It's been really a big blessing. And Mark and his wife are like beloved aunties and uncles to my kiddos. Yes, Bonnie wants sparkle. Of course she does. And if you guys haven't seen, it's like the best tool. It's like 10 bucks. And it is our Wink of Stella. Just really simple. Okay. So this is going to actually be on the inside of the car. Oh my gosh. The red, you guys. Like, whew. It's drama. It's drama. And it's so easy. Though, I'm going to be talking through this with you. Now, we are early. So we are doing this at 8 o'clock. Um, I realize because my kids and I do Taekwondo... Actually, can we keep it? Because I'm going to keep it on Tuesdays. I was thinking of keeping this on Tuesdays and um, keeping this time of 8 o'clock for you guys. And then hopefully when we're done with our lives, I still will have the energy to go down, blog about it really quickly so that it will be on my blog. I'm so far behind with all of that. And it's really nice today because we don't have um, a homeschool community day this week. So we do get together and have a homeschool. Stacy, yes. Oh, girl, you know me. Stacy is, is my dear friend here in town. She's one of the first people who reached out and was just a friend. So you know that's a special kind of person when they're like embrace you in their life. And that has been such a gift. My cousins are really busy people and we have a different stage of life. I am, um, my dad had me when he was 40 and it was a later in life marriage. So all my cousins are older. They were the same age as my oldest sister. And um, they grew up on the, here in the Midwest and I grew up in California so I would come out and it was great, but they're all busy. And so um, friends have become like a part of our family, but that's always been the case. I think it's just God weaves our lives together so that we're close to people like that. Stacy is one of those. I do love your sparkle too. So we are going to, we're almost finished. And this is where it starts clipping along. Um, I knew this was going to take a little extra TLC with the coloring. And the nice thing is this designer series paper is nice and dark. So if you go a little bit out of the berry, nobody's going to notice. And I think the pop of red is super perfect for Christmas, like that dynamic duo. And this is the most beautiful of greens. I picked up a sweater today when I was shopping for the kids' Christmas um, pajamas. And um, the threat is if my kids don't keep up on their chores, we're going to be wearing the Christmas pajamas to church. And they, they, they are not for that. Um, I don't know that I can make them do it because my husband will not have my back. He will not make them wear that. Though my 16-year-old was like, Mom will totally show up in her own, like I'll show up at church in jammies just if they don't and make them sit with me. Isn't that funny? Oh, 
Last one. Oh, there's a little one down here. I love traditional colors for Christmas. Oh, when I was there, I couldn't resist. I purchased a sweater um, when I was purchasing the kids' pajamas. Now, I try to buy it early because if I wait, I find that the pajamas are not available. Like when you think they're going to be available, they're just not. So there you go. Um, okay, so we have this gorgeous frame right here and we're gonna add some Wink of Stella. So that is this here. It's a clear glycerin and glitter based pen. And so we're just gonna kind of go in, don't add a ton. And you wanna stick with the color family. So you just kind of wanna go like that. Whew, pretty. Right now you can spend all day long dolling this baby up, but the reason I'm sticking with just the designer leaves first is that, um, once you start coloring the berries, you can transfer some of that red across the leaves and you don't want to do that. Like, don't do it. So take a second to just do like that and then go in and you can do just the bottom. You can do the whole berry right? You don't have to do, and you don't want to be too uniform. So you want to really kind of be loosey goosey with that. And if you're super sparkly, go to town, but make sure you do that format, right? Where you don't color the whole thing at first. There you go. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you see that up smart up close? Can you guys see that? I know it's kind of hard to photograph that, but that sparkle is super pretty um, on the card. And then I'm just gonna go kind of really quickly on the berries on the inside, right there. Now, this is gonna be, if you are like me and you have a hoarding of designer series paper, this is a great, great project. If you wanna make a big impact with your handmade card, but not like drown in a technique here you go this is it for you I am coming prepared and you can have fun this is a um, card that when somebody opens it they're gonna be like oh wow like that and that's really what you want now I want you to see the end of my week can you see how it's got red to it right there you guys I just want to see if you can see that so when you have that turn your bad boy over because our paper is double-sided, we're not going to use the pink, but I'm going to do that. Yeah, there you go. This is where you get another option. Okay, sisters, we are going to have, this is our gorgeous base, right? Right here. Now, we can choose to either, again, we can use that soft succulent, just like here, which will lighten the card and almost, I think, accent the red a little bit better, Okay. So we're going to go like that. Or if you guys want, we can actually put real red. So can you guys comment if you want red or succulent for that layer right there? Red or succulent. And this is what the red would look like. Let me grab it. I didn't cut it. Okay. So that's the succulent. And this is the, oh, that's pretty too. Okay, girls, mama can't pick. And I love not being in charge. <laughs> I pay the bills, I balance the kids, I homeschool the kids, I am exhausted now. So because I'm tired, you have to pick. Stacy's a succulent. Um, I kind of like both. I don't know, you guys choose, like which one do you like better? I think I like the succulent too, Stace. But the red is really pretty, but I think Mm, I think that picks it up and kind of lightens the card a little bit. What do you guys think? Succulent or red? While you talk real quick, I'm going to get a sip of water. Okay. I have my Stacy succulent. People are waiting. They're typing away. Succulent, succulent. All right, Bonnie and Stacy, you're calling the succulents, girl. I'll let ya. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. 
and it's a very small layer. It's small, but both are great. But I like the lighter too, sister. I'm so glad you picked that, you girls. Um, so we are going to take. I am going to cut off. I'm doing it because I'm doing it backwards and I did my other trimmer on the other side. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do, you guys, this is over the top. So get ready because you need some more opinions as we're going. Now, this is gonna be the front of our card, just like you're seeing there. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. And, um. I'm looking to see if my dimensionals are here in front of us. Let me see if I grab some. Otherwise, it might be across the room, and I'm not going to go run and get some. Ooh, I have some, some pretty dimensionals, y'all. It's right here. So what we're going to do is just go a little bit over the top. Now, this is a card you can mail. If you wanted to mail it and you don't want it to be as heavy, this is where you would not put that second layer on the inside of the card. Don't do that. Less is more on the inside of your card because it's a pop-up card. And because we're doing a pop-up card, the more weight and the more um, cardstock you add to a project like this, the more it's going to um, be too thick for um, shipping. Now, I was just talking to a friend of mine, Sharon, who says anytime she uses dimensionals, they give her like an extra fee. And that's not cool. Like my girlfriend, who's the postmaster in town, would be like, mm -mm, no, like that's not what we do. Okay, so we're going to go in. What I do is I also will line up one side of the, the cardstock to this. And even if it's off, which it is a little bit on the bottom, nobody's going to notice because they're going to look at the top of the card and they're going to, to pay attention that way. Now, you can do another set of dimensionals on the outside. You don't have to. Um, I'm going to make this just a little bit simpler. And I'm going to use our multi-purpose liquid adhesive. So if you guys saw on my social media today, I was talking about, I picked up and I had some red-eye chili. Have you ever had a uh, red-eye chili? Red-eye gravy. Have you guys ever had red-eye gravy? Now, I freaked my daughter out, my 14-year-old. I was explaining that it had eyeballs in it. And she was like, what? <laughs> mm, mom joys. They're little in this world, you guys. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. Love it. Okay, so this is where we're going to take and upgrade this card. Okay, so we're just going to fold it. Usually, I will have scored it beforehand. And I'm going to ma manipulate the cardstock. But if you've never had red eye gravy, my daddy used to talk about that. Now he was a railroad man and um, he, he got, I don't know if that's when he got addicted to coffee or not, but I never saw my dad drink anything but coffee. That was it. He never drank anything <laughs> besides coffee. And um, I'm sure that did not help his health. Let's just be legit. Daddy has passed on and um, so yeah. <laughs> that probably wasn't good for him to only have drink and coffee his whole life. I'm just saying. But that's what daddy did. So I had some today at this little coffee shop in Fort Wayne called Conjure Coffee. Sorry, didn't mean to hit the didn't mean to hit y'all. There we go. We're going inside of the card here. And I did put adhesive on one end, tucked it under, and we're gonna do the other end. And the nice thing with our multi-purpose liquid adhesive is that you can move it for a little bit while it's on the card front or the card. This would be, because of the two layers of cardstock, this is too thick to mail in the post office is my guess. Unless, and you have to have a hand posted at that point. This is a great one to give in town. This is a great one to give somebody at church or in your neighborhood or a coworker. Now, one of the reasons that I like to use a cardstock on the inside of this is that it gives it extra strength, right? We're gonna go in and make sure that the front of this card is really, it's standing up on its own. Can you see that? And that really is coming from that extra cardstock on the inside. So the technique we're doing is a little bit more involved. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside here. 
Then we're going to take this cardstock and I've scored it in half right there. So you're set and give it a little push. And this is where I become an A-type hippie. Are you ready? <laughs> this is where Jamie goes a little bonkies, but I like things to be um, middle. I like the middle of stuff. So it's four inches wide, right? I'm going to take a ruler and a pencil. So Peyton, who lives with us, was like, ooh, this is a nice pencil. And I was like, it is. It's, I like nice pencils and nice pens. Um, I do. I grew up really poor. And there's just something about a really nice pencil, a nice pen that says something. Like, says, I don't know what it says, but it says something. <laughs> uh, and I'm using a ruler here. So there you go. We are, ooh, I only wanted a half inch. Goodness, Jamie. So here, there we go. And we're gonna go up an inch. So I have a middle line and then I have this here and it's up only an inch. I'm only going an inch up, right? Do I have to be super precision? No, it just looks better when you kind of have an eyeball of where something is supposed to be. There you go. And so this is a graphic artist pencil and I love it. I feel very like, I put it on, I'm like, oh, I put it on, I use it and it's like, oh, it feels nice. It draws nice, it writes nice. Now we're using our paper snips and we're just gonna go up on those outside lines, up one inch. All right, so we have this here. I feel like I'm gonna scooch in just a smidge for you guys, ready? There you go, okay. So I have the middle mark and then I have the one inch up. So we're gonna go up and use your bone folder to give it a good impression. Now turn it over. Motherhood, where we manipulate the people in our lives. No, joke, kinda. <laughs> so I have this little flap and uh, we're gonna open the card. And when we do this flap, we can fold it forward and it's gonna create our happy little pop up. I think I warned you guys, this is a little bit over the top, right? Like, and then go in with your bone folder, give it some imp impressions right there. So this is, we're gonna back out, hold on. And there's a reason I warn you guys, like I don't want you to feel motion sickness from something I'm doing. Okay. So we're gonna go inside and do the same thing we just did. We're gonna adhesive this inside. So go in here just like so. It will not necessarily stay up, like it'll stay, it's not gonna lay flat kind of ever. It'll fold in and fit perfectly into the size of your standard um, envelope but it might be too thick at this. Actually, I'm gonna tell you, it's not even might. It's too thick at this point. And because it's too thick, I'm gonna take it inside and give it to a friend. Right there. So it's adhesive to the top and now this little kickstand sticks out right there. And we're gonna close that up. And I don't put a big goop right? I don't want it to seep out right there or on the end. I go in a smidge, like maybe a quarter of an inch. And then I close that. Give it a nice back massage. And when you open it, it's going to look just like so. Isn't that dramatic? Do you guys love this as much as I love this? Oh, this always makes me really happy. Now, we have a lot that we get to do with this, so we're not done, but I've already done the die cutting for us. So I can feel a little sticky right here, and um, that's where I would take my embossing buddy and I would rub it across here. We'll deal with that later. I have no idea where my embossing, probably because I was putting things away because my crafter mess is overwhelming. <laughs> Am I alone? Am I alone? Um, so when you die cut out, here, you're gonna get a frame and then you're gonna get an inner piece, right? Super pretty, just like you see there. 
Now, I, I like contrast. So I am debating here. You guys can choose. You guys tell me. Um, and you're the boss. Do you want light and light? That's succulents on succulent. Or do you want, which is kind of where I was leaning, but I'm not sure if you want the evening evergreen around the succulent on the inside of this card. Can you guys say two tone or one tone? Either way, it's getting a soft succulent inside. But, and then these can just pop out, you guys. It's just a matter of, I was getting it prepped beforehand. You tell me. Two or one? Two or one with this card. I am looking for something while you guys are saying that. Two, dark and light. Okay, girls, you're the bosses. So I grabbed an, a ribbon, and we do have real red ribbon, but I think it's over there in baskets from a recent class, and so we are just going to deal with it being across the room, but that's where you grab, like, the coordinating real red ribbon, and you're like, score. Okay. Okay, so we grabbed this stamp set that you saw here, the Framed and Festive. And this frame, we're gonna do the two here. So this frame is too big, so you can measure them ahead of time to go across the card like so. It's gonna stick out. So it's designed to go just like you see there. And I'm gonna get rid of all the hanging chads my brush is usually right in front of me, but because my crafter mess is insane right now, it's around and everything is kind of a hot mess. And then I start like cleaning and then I get called to like, I don't know, go eat or something. <laughs> go be mom, go make food, go do this, go do that. And I homeschool so they all know how to cook, but like, there you go. Perfect. So what we're going to do, my sweet friends, is we're going to stamp inside of this little light colored circle right here. Now I have the real red ink pad. Of course, you can just pat it and plop it down, but you could do a two tone on here if you wanted to. I'm not going to. Well, I might. Let me see. Do I have them? Nope. I don't have that marker sitting in front of me. So you can use the paintbrush end and you could paint these in different colors. So you can go in and paint the season in red and then paint the other colors if you wanted to. Say you wanted to be a more cost effective and you didn't have a lot of storage, you can get the whole color family and it stores like this. So let me show you what it stores like, hopefully. Nope, it was here. It got moved as I was cleaning. Oh, here it is, all right. So this is like a color family. And so you can do all of the ink pads in one, one collection like this for a fraction of the cost of owning all the ink pads. It's a great way to get started, right? So you can paint all of these here. I just take it to the side and I paint. And then when I was done, I will huff on it like, <sighs> but we're live. I don't really wanna get up in your grill and huff and puff and blow the house down. So we're just gonna pat the real red ink pad, right? Don't dig, pat it, kind of like you want to kiss your grandma, like really lovingly. Mm, mm. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? So easy, right? And so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and you can see where it needs to have something hold it all together. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to use this little branch and I did die cut it twice in the evening evergreen, but you could use a contrast. It could be gold foil. It could be a lot here. Okay. So I'm actually going to grab my silicone craft sheet and I'm going to show you one of the reasons that you have a silicone craft sheet. The shiny stuff you see there is not snails y'all. It's just, <laughs> it is literally just um, adhesive. And so you can really get like, have fun and get manipulative with this, um, on it. So I'm going to kind of go around and make sure it's laying flat right there. And we're going to use this branch to kind of hold it together. I'm going to put that multi-purpose liquid adhesive. If you don't like using liquid adhesive, I knew a woman named Julie. She did not. She always put too much and it stressed her out. And so no wanting, I don't want to stress people out to craft, you guys. Crafting is, is relaxing and fun. Okay. Go in, make sure she is lined up right there. And kind of put it across the two right there and line it up. Hold it down for like a count of, I don't know, 10, right? You can use, um, it would be nice if I had done that in gold. Wouldn't it have been, would have been better. I don't have time to go die cut us another one. And so we're going to take that second one that I did die cut already. And gold would have been so much better here, y'all. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to kind of eyeball it to see where we're going. And there's a lot you can do. You could have put a small strip behind it also to help hold it all together. I just thought it would be fun to kind of use the branch to hold it all together. Again, hold it for a count of 10. Oopsie. Right. So while that's drying, grabbing our red rhinestones and our take your pick tool, which is around here somewhere, y'all. Maybe. Who knows where my take your pick tool is? We're going to take these adhesives, backed rhinestones, and tie this together. That little flare shows that you care. <laughs> right? There you go. What a difference that makes, you guys. That red really pops that together. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? super pretty and we could accent it more you can keep going and keep going but I like to stop and pull back and say okay we're happy with where we are so this can go on the inside or the outside of your card at this point really but because the inside sit over the top 
inside is pretty um, dramatic and I want it to be where the drama is. We're gonna come in here and put a dash of that multi-purpose liquid adhesive right there. And hold it. So when you open this card, it's going to stand up. Do you love the frame, Bonnie? I do too. This reminds me of a very enchanted forest, like something that you would have read about in like a princess movie or um, the fairy tales or I don't know. Like, so it, it will stand up. Let's see. Right there. It's going to stand up when you send this card to somebody here. And when you close it, it tucks right in. But we have this pretty card. And so what I want to do is add a beautiful, simple embellishment to the outside. Right? So we're going to tie a little bow. And if you don't know, you can just manipulate your ribbon so things lay better. Just like so. There we go. It can be right in the middle of your card, right off to the side. It can be tied to the bow. It can be wrapped around your card, right? Where you have it. And this is where I'm gonna use my glue dots instead. And wish I had my take my pick tool with me. So we're gonna take our adhesive and put that down. And put this down right on the top of it. If it's not stuck to your acrylic fingernail, y'all, look at that. That takes some skills, doesn't it? <laughs> you guys, how did I do that? Because I don't have my take your pick tool in front of me. dot with something that it can disconnect from right there And by putting it over the glue dot, now you have a really simple and beautiful exterior. And when you open it, you have a really beautiful interior. Now, what would you do with the inside? So much, you guys. And you can kind of manipulate it here if you want. So, my nail's sticky. Um, so, I would, you could do a couple different things. You can put a punch in here um and you can do it that way so let me grab a punch hopefully we have a punch over here that we can use yeah this is a fabulous way to say loss Ooh, or look you guys we have that second punched thing there we go so may this season be filled with peace and joy and you can stamp and put this inside. I wouldn't put this inside, inside until you have signed it and written your note and then adhesive it in. Right? Are you ready? I'm going to take you guys off the stand so you can see it. So if you overlook my <laughs> display, um, your frame is on the inside. Your cardstock is over the top. 
so beautiful. It's a drama piece when you open it. And then on the outside, it's a little bit more simple, just like that. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? I love it. And it kind of stays up because it has the extra piece on the inside. You know, like it will, hold on, if I can push it back. I might have needed to manipulate it a little bit more beforehand, but there you go. What do you think? Do you dig it? There, I'm gonna put it down so I can, there we go. Less likely to shake here. If you haven't received this, if you haven't picked up this awesome bundle, you know you need it in your life. And I'm going to give you a little secret. It's going to be inside of the new catalog that's coming out in January. It's in here and you want it. <laughs> if you haven't already ordered it, you want to get it. Um, and um, if you order it now, you have it before the catalog comes out. So there you go. And you get an extra bonus stamp set, which will not be in the new catalog. That is this gorgeous um, framed and festive Christmas set that is designed to go inside of the frames. And when you have a stamp set that creates multiple frames like that, super pretty. Yes, please. I love it too. I'm so glad you guys joined us. Um, what's your favorite aspect of the card? If you don't mind my asking, do you like the colored in berries, right? Do you like the frame and the coordinated rhinestones? What is it that you like? What is it that you love? Are you as happy with it as I am? <laughs> I'm easy to please. And this was an over the top card. So it is like going to be an elevated project, but I love it. And you can easily just add another frame. It looks super pretty. Mm -hmm. And people are going to love displaying that. Now, I did notice when I closed it, it's a smidge outside of the card. What that means is that this would need to be shortened right on the inside here. So instead of going up half an inch, if you go up a quarter inch, it's still going to stand, but it'll be tucked into the card a little bit more. Do you like the colored berries, Stacy? I do too. And I want to point out, you really want to go clean and simple on the outside of this card like this, because when it opens up and this is what they see, they're going to be like, oh, but if you go over the top, over the top, over the top on every layer, it might be too much for people. And it's really hard to duplicate that. You don't want to do that like for a hundred different cards. Maybe you don't want to send a hundred of these. Maybe you'll spend like, send like five or 10 because they're for the special people in your life. Um, I love it. I hope you guys do also. If you haven't received this post, this, um, this suite, you can check it out. I'm going to go downstairs and blog really quickly. Um, actually it's bedtime. I'll blog in the morning after my doctor's appointment. So, um, I will blog tomorrow morning, this awesome card and then post it and you guys should be able to see all the measurements and how to do so, um, on my blog because I have to go tuck my youngest in and by the time I get my pajamas on. It's done for the day. So, um, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, you are such a blessing to join me tonight and, um, this week and in this journey of my crafting and I, Ooh, you can see the sparkle there. Can you guys see the sparkle from earlier? <gasps> that wink of Stella y'all so pretty. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Check out my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. And you can see that tomorrow afternoon where all the measurements and stuff should be up um, for you. And I will start cooking tomorrow. I'm excited. Stacy. I don't know if you guys are busy, but come on over. If you have nowhere else to go, message me. I'd love to have you join us. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. Have a good night. And if I don't talk to you beforehand, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>